Audio in check, hair in check, Chris Howe, I think in check. What's going on guys? My name is Chris Howe and on this week's episode, we are talking about what's in my camera cart. And you're probably wondering, camera cart, where's the camera bag update? Well, today we're talking about the items that I can't carry on my back, the items, the big ones that I take to our commercial shoots for our big projects where I need a cart to carry it. So without further ado, we get to talk about gear and I am just like, oh, the most excited because I get to talk about gear and I'm always pumped to talk about gear. So let's jump right into it. Woo! Let's jump in to our first item. Now, obviously, item number one has to be the Rock and Roller R12 cart, the actual item that is holding all the other items I'm about to share with you. This thing is a beast. It's built like a tank. It holds so much gear. It extends, it goes big and small for different situations, can get it into elevators. This thing was like by far one of the best investments for our video production company of 2016, I think is when we got it. They make a few different tiers. So if you only have a small amount of gear, get the small one. If you have a lot of gear, get the big one. Seriously, like for loading things in and out quicker and like the stress on your back and just like gassing you out after like a whole day, getting this cart is like one of the best investments that you can make for your video production or photography company. I genuinely mean that. I'm not just trying to get sales. I just want to protect your back because I have back problems all the time. And after getting this cart, I have a lot less stress on my back. All right, the next item is the Lily Put 4K 28 inch monitor. This is our client monitor. This is what we use when we go on like some of our bigger shoots and we have clients and we have like eight people that need to surround the television monitor to see what the shot is like. This is it. It comes in this like awesome case. We don't use it all the time because it's like kind of annoying to bring to different locations, but when we need it, it's very impressive. Clients love it and kind of gives us like whole amazing client experience, which is ultimately what the client is paying for. So the Lily put 4K 28 inch monitor, highly recommend. Okay, next ones are just sandbags. Make sure you guys get sandbags to hold down your stands, your lights, your monitor, your Ronin stands, because a few years ago we were actually on set. We put a Ronin with a red camera on it. It was like a $20,000 like setup and we didn't put sandbags on it and it fell over and the whole camera broke and the lens broke and it was just like about three or four thousand dollars worth of damage and we could have just fixed it with a twenty dollar sandbag so get a bunch of sandbags to hold down all your stands. Next is stands and that's C stands. I own actually about five of them at this point. I kind of have like a bit of a love-hate relationship with these things because they're heavy but they're built like tanks so they can hold a bunch of weight, they can hold lights, they look like you're on a professional shoot so clients can kind of justify why they're spending maybe a bit more money on you. So get at least one C stand in your kit if you're looking to upgrade into something bigger to hold your main key light and then kind of like upgrade from there. Next one is the DJI Ronin M. This thing is just like one of the most useful tools ever. I can get like kind of like moving and tracking shots, especially for our B-roll sequences. I use this thing all the time. It makes things look super cinematic. It looks professional and clients just kind of like look when they're like, oh cool, that's a crazy big rig. Now I understand why I spent this money on you. So up next is the Rhino 24 inch Evo slider with motion control control and arc. This thing is just a beast. By far the best slider on the market, especially because it's motion controlled. So all your motions on your slider can be perfectly timed. You can create motion, you can create different movements, you can create movements with arcs in it, especially for like product video shoots or if you're doing like an interior of a car, if you're doing time lapses, like there's so many different options built into this thing. So if you're looking for a slider, would highly recommend the Rhino one, super dope. Okay, up next is the Kino Flow 400 Diva Light. I don't use this thing all the time, but it's great for photography and video. It's like a constant stream light. Usually use it as a key if we're doing like a big interview setup, kind of like this one here. We used about two on this video shoot. It's kind of big and bulky, so we don't use it on like every single shoot, but it has saved us in the pinch on a couple of our commercial shoots when we need a little bit extra light to like fill the room. So that's the Kino Flow Diva 400 light. Okay, up next is like one of my favorite lights. I'm actually using it right now to light this video as we speak, which is the Aperture Amaran Tri-8 Bicolor LED light. This thing is just like a champion. It's so powerful. It's color temperature controlled. It has a little like remote control so I can like turn it on and off, which is like 
super dope and like you can control how low the light is or bright the light is like that alone is like the best investment ever so i love that it's battery powered so you can actually take it off a stand and do like moving shots so if you're doing like a ronin shot you're trying to light your subject you can have somebody to the side holding the light because it's battery powered. So you don't need like cables running everywhere. You don't have to worry about people tripping over it. It's just, it's a badass light. If you're looking for your next light purchase, would highly recommend this one. It's like probably like the best bang for your buck. I always get a lot of questions if I use a monitor and yes, I do use a monitor. I'm using one right now. It's just below me right here. And that is the Atomos Ninja Flame. It's like a little seven inch monitor. It's super bright so you can see it outside. It also has a built-in recorder so you can go right from the camera from like HDMI to the recorder itself and record ProRes files, which is like hella dope. And it also has like the scopes and all like the exposure checking and false color and focus peaking. Like it's a great monitor. It's super cheap right now. It's probably cause it's like a few models old at this point. So if you guys found one used or bought it on Amazon or something like that, this is a great monitor. I really love it. I spent a ton of time researching like which monitor I should get. And this one is by far the best bang for your buck, especially if you shoot Sony, this will make sure that your shots are in focus, exposed correctly. And if you're shooting S-Log, you actually put in like built-in LUTs. I'm gonna stop talking talking about this one too, because I love it. Okay, next is the Impact 5-in-1 Reflectors. I have a small one and I also have like a six foot one and I use the six foot one all the time. You can bounce light, you can like do negative fill, which is when you're trying to take light away using the black side, or you can just block out a giant light source like a window. If you guys don't own a five in one reflector, please go and buy one. The most versatile like photography and videography item that you could possibly get at like a $25 to like a $100 investment, you'll get so much return from it. Highly recommend that you get a five in one, anything from like a small, medium and large. Up next is an Apple box. Would highly recommend getting one of these. It's just an Apple box, creates a little bit of lift. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Up next is a sound or moving blanket. Highly recommend that you get these. They're like $20 to $40, depending on the material that you guys get. But you can use these to like take away sound or like block out big light sources like a giant window. You can like save the floor if you're shooting on like a wood floor and you have C-stands anywhere, you can put a C-stand on top of it. If somebody gets cold, Keep them warm with this blanket. Up next are extension and power cables. I carry about five to 10 of these on every single shoot. These will save the day. You never wanna be in a situation where you're like shooting somewhere and you need a light and you need power. So make sure if you don't have like battery powered items, get a whole bunch of like extension cords to bring with you. These will save the day and make sure they're anywhere from like 10 feet, 25 feet, 100 feet, 500 feet, whatever size you need. Make sure you have like a vast range of different power cables. These will save the day. Make sure you have them. Next item is my beefy tripod. I don't use this all the time, but when we have heavier cameras, this is the Manfrotto 509 HD head and the Manfrotto 536 carbon fiber legs. This thing just like extends to go like seven feet if you need like seven foot shots and gets really small. And if you need to carry like heavy cameras like Reds and Alexas, this will support it. We don't use it all the time, but still highly recommend. And guys, that's the extent of all the items that are in my camera card. That took so long to actually get all those items. I think that's about like four to six years in the making before I kind of like filled that card out. So real quick, we actually do have a sponsor for today's episode, and this is the first sponsor of the Chris Howe channel. I am super grateful for that. And I wanna make a promise to you guys right now that I will never promote something to you that I don't believe in, and this next one I truly believe in because it focuses on education. Now you've probably seen this company promoted by like different like creators that you love, whether it's Instagram and YouTube, and that company is Skillshare. Now I actually used this service before this company even reached out to me to talk about it and I love Skillshare. Now if you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's like an online community where you can access 19,000 different courses in photography, videography, and legitimately their premium package starts at $10 a month to access 19,000 classes. Like I always think about that, like my education when I went to university was like around 40,000 to $50,000. Like that's so much money. That's a crazy investment to make in your career. And I always agree that the best investment that you can make is in education, but legitimately, 
$10 a month to access 19,000 different classes. You can find like certain niches. Like one of my favorite ones is that there's like a whole like business accounting section. I know that sounds super lame, but if you guys really want to understand and like you own a creative business, do the accounting course because you guys will like make a ton of money if you understand accounting. So like that's an easy place to just go and learn and legitimately $10 a month, like you can't go wrong. There's also a link below. So the first 299 people to sign up get two months free, which is hella dope. So a big thank you to Skillshare for hooking us up for that and sponsoring today's episode. Now, if you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe. Would love for you to join along and we're gonna catch you in the next videos. Peace out everybody. Thank you for watching. I know it was a long one, but there's many more to come. Woo!